This is Stephen Howard. My dog Yucca. Hi Yucca. It was pretty cold this morning. It's uh, 52 degrees. It isn't too bad, but it was windy. So it's kind of like San Francisco weather, it felt like. There's snow up on the mountain. Uh, it's like day five, or day five or day six of the lockdown. Um, I'm headed back out to Red Rock to go rock climbing today. Um, hoping it warms up and gets a little less windy. But uh, I do enjoy climbing out in Red Springs quite a bit. Uh, the rain finally dried up, so it's time to go climbing, and uh, looking forward to a good time today. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about during this whole crisis, um, a lot of people that have addictions, those addictions start to either spike, or we decide that, oh, we're going to abstain from, from those things. So... Um, I, I tend to be a person that abstains from things when things are traumatic. Uh, so I'm staying away from any sort of vices and trying to keep nature and healthy and eating right and meditating and working on self. Uh, even though we get bored and sick of it, there's always some work to do. So, um, uh, Instead of getting down on your dumps and getting into addictions and things that are going to hurt you, uh, why don't we focus on things that are going to benefit you and your family and make you stronger as a person. So um, that being said today, today's video is going to be extremely short, uh, but I did get channeled messages. Um, channeled messages were basically that we need to be patient we need to persevere. We need to focus on self-love, nurturing self and everybody around you, love and patience, kindness. Um, when you have worry, put it out of your mind, meditate it out of your mind. Because the worry and the fear, that's what creeps in. And then all of a sudden the doubt is there and the voice of doubt is there. So... Um, uh, gas prices sure haven't gone down around here. Um, it's two ninety three right now. I've been hearing as low as a dollar fifty, and then I heard ninety nine cents somewhere. So, but that wasn't here in Las Vegas, I don't think. I'm at the uh, Blue Diamond Travel Center. Uh, pretty classic old spot here in uh, Las Vegas. I used to work for the old owner before he passed away. I worked here for graveyard shifts for a guy named Barry. And uh, Barry was, uh, was like an old cowboy. He was from Pahrump. And uh, we had a good time. He was a good guy. Anyway, I'll uh, be going to get some coffee, get Yekka ready for her hike. And we're going to have a good time today. Uh, regardless of what our situation is, we're going to keep positive and uh, stay warm, everybody. Got my knit hat on today, staying a little warmer. But, uh, you know, I, I've been trying to keep it kind of light, you know. Um, in these times, it's kind of hard to delve into different subject matter and be sitting here crying uh, it's a time for strength. It's a time to go within and find your strength and find out, you know, what, what you might be really made of and what your character really is. So um, here we are, uh, day five or six. And uh, yeah, I probably could make it another couple months, um, you know, if I really really had to stretch it out I could probably make it a couple months but um, I don't know how long I can make it and without reaching out and needing some help from somebody somewhere um, you know I don't know if I'll be holding a sign out someday but um, 
I, I surely hope not. I, I hope I can do some, some sort of work and, and, uh, be self-sustaining. Um, you know, for that matter, I hope my YouTube channel catches on and I hope that, you know, when I came down to Las Vegas, we'll get to the nuts and bolts of it today. I came down to Las Vegas with a dream of making it to Hollywood and being able to either sell my movie or work with my movie and to work on my own career. I'd like to read for films and uh, go to acting classes. And I had a whole plan. And first the job wasn't a good fit. And then the living, living place wasn't a good fit. And then my trailer took a crap. And then the lock, the virus lockdown, I, I didn't understand what was happening. I don't really watch the media uh, at all. So all I really do is post on Facebook, do a lot of hiking, meditating, uh, love the world and, and try to make it through life day by day and make it as best as you can. Uh, I have done about 187 jobs in my life. And, um, you know, I could build you a house in Montana. I could uh, kayak you across the 